This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So, I will, can I show you once again this MRP? Uh, yes, please. So, if you want, you can take these screenshots. The MRP transaction code is MD01N. Right. Okay. Here you enter first the plant. And if you want, you can enter the range of plant from one to. And here you enter our material code on the car. Okay. And then select all order component BOM components okay. and then here in the scheduling you can select the option to lead time and capacity planning okay. and then in the planning mode you can select the one okay now hold on one second please yeah okay go ahead okay after this, you can click on the execute button. Okay, you can click on yes. Yeah. So this is the output you will get. Okay. Materials planned is two materials. Yeah, but there are uh, other uh, screens. Mm. That's uh, that's I want to see. Okay, now the output you will see in another transaction code. See this in another transaction code. That is MD04. Stock that's requirements list. Stock. Yeah. Okay. Press enter. So here you enter the material code and plan. If you take this screenshot. Now after the MRP, when you uh, when you do the complete MRP, then it hmm. is necessary that you can go to a stock requirement. Correct. I see. Okay. Enter your plant, uh, your material and plant, and then press enter. Okay. So here you can see your planned orders. Yeah, that's a screen. Yeah, that's a screen yeah. I was looking for, but I, it was confusion. I think okay. uh, material requirement, stock requirement, I did not catch that part. Okay. Okay, okay. You can take the screenshot. Yes, I got it. Now, okay. after the stock requirement list, mm. Mm. Uh, then what is the next step after that? I think uh, that you yeah. say you will do it uh, after that class. Correct, correct. So, after this one, you can see we run the MRP, mm -hmm. then we got the planned orders. Okay. <laughs> now, then we will do the convert to production order we will convert plan order to production order now the plan order is that one that uh, uh, the plan order you you already created right yeah system created we are not created just uh, we will see these in md04 so md04 is also hmm. means uh, create the plan order no 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 to create a separately you want to create planned order there is separate transaction code is there but here we are not created the planned order system generated mrp generated planned orders okay system. as per the your shortage 
deleted. Just one second, I will write the node plan order. So generated plan order. But if you want to, uh, in any scenario, can you uh, create the direct plan order? Yes, we can create also. In what sense we can create the plan order if the MRP automatically oh. generate the yeah. plan order? And if it's uh, create the plan order, and what is the, uh, the transition code for plan order? Yeah, to create, if you want, you can create manually the planned order also. To create a planned order manually, the transaction code is MD11. MD11, I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is MD11 transaction code. Okay. So here manually can create. What is the reason means? Uh, some people want just now they want to create one order to manufacture a product. Okay. They can directly create. I see. Okay. okay say one more time again. If. Yeah. If. The planners or shop floor people, they want to manufacture now product, but there is no order for that. Okay. So then, if, if the planner, they will create. If the planners are manufacture a mm. sing, single plan, a single order, right? Correct. Correct. If the planners are manufacture single order, mm. then uh, then they create the. Uh, MD zero uh, MD eleven. Yeah, correct. Okay. Okay. Now you create the MRP and the system mm. automatically create the plan order. Now we have to move forward. Move forward. Correct. Correct. Okay. okay. Uh, do we have Nicholas number, contact number or something? Yeah. Yeah. I will call him now. Yeah. Can you please call him? Nicholas, uh, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw the message. The email. I'm, I'm joining now. I'm joining now. Okay, please, okay. Mr. Wasu. He is uh, waiting for you. Very desperate. Okay, sorry. I just saw the message. I just, I just saw the email. Okay, okay. Coming, so, I'm coming. We are, two the, we are on the system now. Okay, all right. So okay, okay. Hey, two minutes. Okay, two minutes. Okay, Mr. Wasu. Okay, Wasu. He is coming now. Okay, okay. No problem. Thank you. Now we can go back to the screen that you are yeah. up, uh, all the way up that we can see uh, further further up later. Uh, more more. Okay, that you say you create the plan order, you know, in a starting mm. screen. What is the next yeah. step after that? Yeah. Uh, yes, right here. We will so, convert to production orders. Okay, now convert uh, plan order will convert to production orders. Yeah. Okay. So now we can we'll go in a different uh, transaction code. Yeah. I see. In different transaction codes we have. I will show you all those transaction codes now. Mm -hmm. 
year from which part of ES? I'm sorry. A uh, year from which uh, uh, state? I'm in Chicago, Chicago, okay. Illinois. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, Chicago, okay. Yeah, very cold over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yesterday was temperature was uh, seven degree Fahrenheit. Oh. Single digit. Oh yeah. And so I saw the news. Uh, people are uh, trying to cast the vote, and the fan is running over there. Uh, then I assume that there is too hot over there. Yeah, <laughs> correct. Here the temperature is forty degrees. I see. Forty degrees. If you convert into Fahrenheit, maybe something around. It is more in Fahrenheit. Yeah, could be eighty-five or ninety. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, uh, mostly in this month, every yeah. um, in this month of April, the temperature mostly change. But this time, oh, yeah. the, okay. the winter take little longer. Oh, okay. So for us it, now, for us now, it is a summer actually. Yes. So in other words. Uh, uh, Vasu, when we yeah. uh, done with this uh, uh, training, now okay. if I go, let's see after a few months or five, six months, when I will yeah. I'm supposed to work in a, a very practices and uh, work very hardly and understand the whole thing. But sometimes yeah. any error comes. So can I send you email sometimes and can you answer us? Yes, yes. You can, uh, anytime you can send the uh, mail so I can yeah. reply to you. Okay, okay. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Nicholas. Hi, hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Yeah. Good evening. Okay. You are able to see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Your audio is uh, not audible clearly. Your voice is not audible to you. Yeah, yeah, I can see your screen. Yes. Can you hear me okay. now? Yeah, yeah. Now it is good. Yeah. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. I move the I move the speaker. Okay. Now I I, I will yeah. mute myself. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. 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 Uh, Jamal, on the go to meeting screen, that uh, pop up screen, you are able to see the recording is recording. Recording is in progress. At the bottom. Yeah, I don't know session, yeah. Yeah. It says uh, this session is being recorded. Yeah, yeah, okay. Last class, uh, Murli told it is not recorded. I don't know, but we press the recording. Yeah, he sent me the email and he said yeah. it's recorded in your uh, computer, in your uh, okay. in your uh, desktop. So okay. I check it was recorded, but when I open up the file and uh, okay. this file is not uh, you know give me any proper response it's not uh, there is no volume it's not open up so i will okay. contact with him or i will send yeah. him these files that he can work on okay okay fine okay now i am starting the class okay yeah. so in my previous session we saw how mrp is calculating in the back end okay uh, these are the steps it will follow. First is the net requirements calculation, then it will follow lot size calculation, then procurement. Based on the procurement setting, either you will get a planned order or purchase requisition. Then you will, another next step is scheduling. So, scheduling will calculate what is the start date and end date. Okay. Now, so now these uh, four steps, as you say, the MRP mm -hmm. it, uh, is calculate already, or they it's uh, uh, it's calculate, or we have to work on it. I think it's uh, no. Yeah, when you run the MRP system in the background, it will calculate all these things. We are not doing. Okay. Yeah. Background. Okay. So the why 
if somebody ask you how planned or is generated i will run the uh, mrp so how it is generated if somebody ask you these are the answers so it will follow all these steps and it will generate a planned order with start date and end date okay yeah. now after fourth step we have another step that is fifth step it is vom explosion vom explosion yeah okay so our what is this bom explosion i will explain you now so our product is honda car okay bom means bill of material so this car is having example like engine and tire yes okay this car is having the engine and a tire okay sometimes sometimes not in real time this engine also will have a bom right okay or you can say only you can imagine only these two no problem okay in this example now yeah, tire has also bom yeah bom will have correct okay now we in the initial screen which material we enter when you run the mrp honda car car we enter correct honda car we enter but system is generated purchase requisition for tire also correct purchase requisitions for tire also it is generated if you want to see you can see in md04 i am changing the material code so you can see for honda car system is generate purchase requisitions also how system is identified this purchase to calculate this for this material also this can is you, can you go back put the honda honda car again please for honda car it is a pld ward planned orders for a tire it is purchase requisition can i move okay honda car is planned order correct and uh, honda tire is purchase requisition correct okay Tire, uh, tire we are procuring from outside okay okay so when we run the mrp we are not selected tire but still it is calculated okay it is calculated means it is created the purchase request how it is happened is because one thing is it in the fifth step it will read what is a bom explosion means it will read the what is the bom of this car so bom is tire okay it will read and for this tire again it will follow all these steps for tire again it will follow all these steps and create here purchase requisition so that means in the last step again it will read the bom and for bom items also it will do the planning okay. is it clear so bom will explode only the tire not for engine no engine we are not maintained actually example i told you but engine we are not maintain in the bom in bom we maintain only tire right okay if you maintain engine and the glass everything it will uh, it will do the mrp for all the materials we put only these two materials okay okay so in the last step it will read the bom and it will do the planning for those materials also so 
that is the reason we are not given multiple materials in MRP screen. Okay. Any questions in this step? No, it's not questions, okay. but uh, this is yeah. it to be uh, practice and also you have to understand this co complete logic in your mind. Correct. Exactly. Okay. You need to remember all these five steps. So then you understood your MRP. Can you go to the five steps on uh, Excel and copy yeah. them? Okay, I will go there. Here you can see this is MRP selection screen. Here you need to tick mark this one, all order BOM components. Okay. Then it will, in the fifth step, it will read all your BOM components and it will do the planning. Okay. So that is the reason also to be included in planning. So your BOM components also you are including. If you not tick mark this one, it won't do the planning for your components. Right. Okay. Now I am in Excel file. Yeah. Uh, you know class you can uh, email me the excel file it will help you yeah yeah sure definitely okay i think uh, after last class i sent the excel file yeah yeah i got that but since every day you are working and the excel file yeah. is updating the things okay sure i have to this i will send it okay. okay so this is about the mrp okay now I am going to the next step. After MRP, we saw the planned orders also in MD04. Now I am going to convert this planned order to production orders. Okay. This is our fourth step. Okay. So this conversion of planned order to production orders, you can do in a different ways. You can convert this into a different in a different transaction course. I see. means uh, plan order convert to production has a few uh, has a few transaction codes yeah i see yeah you have multiple transaction codes to convert this production order to a planned order to production order one is stock requirements list that is md04 another one is uh, i will So the path for another two transaction courses, logistics, production, MRP, yeah, convert to production orders. So another thing is individual connection, conversion and collect to conversion. I see. Individual conversion. This is CO40. And third one is a collect to conversion. That is CO41. These are the different transaction codes we can use. Okay. So whatever the transaction you use, the purpose is same and it will do the same activity only. I see you won't feel any difference okay the output there is no difference so, so now i will uh, show. 
So what is the yes. easy way? Can we do one trial transaction code and get all of them? All of means? If we go and one transaction code is hmm. our purpose solved. Yeah. And uh, any of them are just MD04 or... You can use any of any one. I see. For the conversion. I will show you, then I will explain you what is the difference actually. Okay. Oh, okay. I will show you all these three transaction codes. Okay. First thing is MD04. This is nothing but our stock requirements list. So you will enter our purchase. What are the material? Yes, okay. okay. And you have these planned orders. Right. Okay. For example, you want to convert this planned order 5763 with 100 quantity. So you click on this details button. You will get this screen. So here you can see one button. Yarrow PROD WOD. It's a description. Convert a planned order to production order. Okay. You can click this button. Which button? The production order? Yeah, production order button. I will go back once again. You can see, enter the details and this button. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah. Just, just, can you hold on one second, please? Yeah, sure. Yes, just one second. Nicholas, do you have another session today? No, today I don't have another session. And we can we don't do session. We will do okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 And then, okay, we click this. Yeah. So it will open another screen. You can see production order creation header. Okay. At present, you don't require to do anything here. Just to save it. Just save it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Click on save button. Okay. Okay. If it comes to some casting error, you can say yes. Do you still want to save? Click on yes. This is okay. a costing error. Okay. Yeah. Still, you can click on save. Now, one more question I have. Uh, yeah. When we are working on costing, hmm. man, man, our labor, everything, hmm. in uh, a real scenario in industry, are they hmm. are taking in account the costings and everything, or they don't care about the costings and the. No, 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 no. In yeah, in real time. There should not be any errors for casting. Okay. So they count, they count the casting? Correct. Because some place they don't count the casting and they just uh, uh, do, do the manufacturing and place the order for uh, the requirements and planning and all these things. Uh, okay. But they don't care about the dollar amount or anything. They just keep repetitive, repetitive production. And, uh, okay. Okay. Is the, this has happened are the every everywhere they count the costing everywhere they will count the costing I see otherwise you, there is no use of using SAP why SAP is it is the integrated product it is not a single product it is integrated with all your business functions if you take for example Oracle Oracle will have a different products for different uh, modules oracle finance is there oracle manufacturing is there these are not integrated products but sap is an integrated product where you can get costing production hr pm all these okay okay 
if you are not using that uh, costing means you are uh, not using the product properly Now I'm going back now after saving that button you can see in the bottom you will get the one message order number one triple zero one six one saved that means we have converted this planned order to production order and in this screen in MD 04 okay we'll refresh this button okay sorry, which, which button was refreshing you can see here refresh button in the top okay okay click on this so this 5763 will disappear and this production order will come here okay, just okay? because yes, we already converted this okay just one second I'm just clicking on say uh, refresh button you can see now this is the PRD word means it is a production order okay and this is the your production order number okay Is it clear yes okay this is one way of conversion now I will go to another transaction this CO 40 okay so I will open this CO 40 individual conversion yeah Okay, just one second. Okay, go ahead, please. Yeah. So in initial screen, this is the initial screen for CO40. Here, you need to enter the planned order number. Okay. Okay. In MD04, just you know the planned order, you just click on the production order. But here you need to enter which planned order you want to convert. That planned order number you need to enter here. Uh, okay. six, six one or something, whatever. Not that is production order. Okay. So to know about your planned order, again you need to go to the MD04 stock requirements list. Okay. And here you take any of the one planned order like find seven six four you can take any one planned order you need to take you copy five seven six four and now you go to the co40 transaction code and enter here your planned order number okay, hold on. okay. Now press enter. Now same production order creation header screen will come. Okay. And click on save button. Just one, one second. One second. Okay. Just one second. I'm sorry, uh, Wasu, you took the same planet order you converted again because the other one was converted to production window. Or you took yeah. another one? I took another one. Another one oh, yeah, so, yeah okay. once you convert okay. into production order, you cannot yeah. Yeah, can convert that again. Yeah. Okay, so I took okay. another one. Yeah, I took another one. 
Okay. And when you save it, save it. I am just clicking the save it. Yes. Now in the bottom of the screen, you can see 162 saved. So another production order is saved. Can I go to yeah, steps? Yes, yes. Okay. So this is saved now. So if you go to the MD04, our stock requirements list, mm -hmm. you can see that order. Uh, 5764 is we created earlier. This planned order now converted. So I'm just refreshing it. This 5764 will disappear and that production order will come now. I'm just refresh. Click on refresh. Now you can see it is replaced with your production order. Okay, perfect. Okay. So now, is it clear? These two yes. transaction codes. Now, yes. for example, you have 100 planned orders. You have 100 planned orders. Now you want to convert all 100. So is it possible for you to use this transaction code? No, that's collective. Yeah. Correct. Now we have another transaction code called collective. Okay. That collective you can use for multiple planned orders conversion. Okay. That transaction code is CO41. So that collective can be used for multiple materials also. Not only the same material, you can use for multiple materials. CO41, this is a transaction code you can see selection screen. Collective conversion of planned orders. Yeah. Okay. Here you can enter plant and controller is important role here. Uh, okay. say, say again what's uh, what is the important yeah mrp controller so you have a planners three planners i want to convert my own orders only right. so how to identify that is mrp controller your materials will identified with your mrp controller okay. you can select that okay and then here if you want to enter material, you can enter the material. Yeah, but when you have a collective, uh, collective plan order, and your materials are uh, like uh, ten different materials, how you can add the material? So here you cannot add the material. Only enter the your MRP controller. So where, where we get the MRP controller? In the material master. Oh, I see. In the material master, you will assign the MRP controller. So, if you have only one, one material like Honda car, you can directly enter this Honda car. If you have multiple materials, don't enter the material, only enter here MRP controller. This is a selection screen and then click on execute. So now here, once we execute, this screen will appear. Select to conversion planned orders list. Now here, system will display all your planned orders. Okay. You can see. Okay. We have five seven six zero six one six two three planned orders we have if you want to see in stock requirements list you can see what are the left 
planned orders one two and three three planned orders left correct so all these three planned orders are appearing in collective conversion now system is showing all orders for example you don't want to convert the last one you want to convert these two first two only you want to convert first two only so then you can select which are you want to convert okay okay you will select which are you want to convert, convert. yeah here in the starting you can click on the selection buttons here these two you select these two and click on convert button i see you can see in the top convert button is there you click on that okay i am clicking this convert button so casting error showing okay yes yes so you can see after conversion these two tick marks has come green it, tick mark it that means, means these two orders correct so yes. here you can see two orders are created these are production order okay and the last one is it is not converted okay so now if you go to the stock requirement list you can see two production orders are converted i am refreshing it now you can see only one planned order you have okay Is it clear this step? Any yes. questions? Your voice is not you clear. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Now would be fine. As soon yeah. as you go, as soon as you have all the planets ordered, uh, okay. the MD zero, MD zero four. In this yeah. case. You should convert all of them to production order or not necessarily you convert what you have for three months in the future or one month in the future or three months in the future or how the people work on Yeah, in real time, generally we won't convert all planned orders. Okay, we will convert maybe next two weeks orders or next one month orders only. Okay. Okay. So then okay. in that case, how i should identify those okay so that you can identify you can see here in collective conversion you can enter the date range also yeah okay an opening date okay by opening date okay perfect so you can select for example which are the orders from tomorrow to next month 15th you want to see one month orders okay you can yeah. select okay and execute so only one order is there it is showing okay, okay great like this okay. you can enter okay okay great yeah okay so this is the difference of these three transaction codes as per business need we can use the three different transaction codes is it clear yeah okay so next i am going to another step release order right so that is nothing but a release production order yeah So the next step is release production order. So now we created a production order. Okay. You want to release the production order. So this release production order, we can use the different transaction codes. Like you can use your stock transfer request. 
this transaction okay or you can use there is a separate transaction code change of production order okay co02 this you can use it to release production order okay what is the purpose of release a production order e you are a planner you created planned order and you convert into production order but i am the responsible for shop floor manufacturing okay you are only just here in business you will have a separate persons one is for planner one is for shop floor manager means who is responsible for actual production okay so now so that actual production person will check what are the details in the order and then if he is ready to manufacture that order so i want to manufacture today that order so that time he will release that order okay release means ready for manufacturing so without release you cannot manufacture okay you must release the production order then it is ready for manufacture so that is the purpose of this production order release okay in this release you can access this release using md04 or change production order also you can access now i will show you that i am going to first md04 okay so here any one planned order you can take i am taking our first planned order 161 so click on details button here you can see the third button wherever you see specs button this is a display wherever you see this button pen it is change okay okay hold on one second okay. so you can select that change button pen click this button so here you can see production order change header production order change header so here you click on the flag no sorry now to release it we click on the flag red yes ex yes exactly correct yeah to release the functionality is here there is a green flag button is there yeah. you will just click on this button okay okay now whether this order is released or not how to identify that is in production order you will have status this is very very important status so using this status you will identify in which status this production order is okay so here you can see crtd prc cscr manc sctc all these are the different statuses yeah okay now crtd means created that means this production order is already created so crtd means created correct and prc okay. i will show you that okay? okay so now if this order is released that the release status also will get updated 
release status code is rel if this order is already released then you will find the status here rel okay so what are these all statuses means you can click on this i button here if you click this button i am clicking this i button here you can see what is the status of this is the code and this is the description we got the error in casting so this is the status okay so we are not yet released there is no status for release so that means this order is not released okay i am going back to main screen click on back button so now how to release a production order is this very easy just click on this green flag click that button and once you click you can see status become real okay status is changed to real okay and then this green flag become as a disable mode now you can click on save button okay jamal any questions no so it means uh, the honda car is uh, released for production correct now i need to save it okay yeah. save it so again it is showing some casting error okay save okay now we have released the order okay how to know this is released or not you see i am just refreshing in md04 so at the end of this order you will get the status re you can see okay re means it is released okay okay for normal production order you won't get that re yes yes okay so that way also you can identify which order is released now i am opening in co02 i will explain you more details on this production order navigation path is this one production shop floor control order and this is co02 so if you open co02 directly you need to enter what is the production order number and then press enter okay in this uh, you will have all the information related to your production order okay all the what is the all means first thing is your production order number and material code so that means you are going to manufacture honda car okay so this is Now. the end of the production sorry uh, this is the end of the production uh, order right no no oh, end of the production order correct okay okay so in here i am going to explain you what are the things you can see in this production order okay now in this screen you can see what is the material code and how much is your production quantity okay how much is the production quantity and here you can see the dates when is the manufacturing start date and when is the end date okay information and then now 
you want to know what are the components required components means ever like tire and all these things how many you need and what are the components you required you want to know you click on the top you can see components button okay click this button you can see you got honda tire okay can you go on uh, back one time because i want to take the screenshot yeah components So now in the components list these are the components and you required 500 because this order Honda car you need 100 cars so that is the reason you need a tires of 500 tires okay so all components details you want to see you can click on this components button and you can see all these things okay can i go to main screen now yes please okay you once again we have a raw test material to uh, 200 uh, we, we did we recommend uh, two uh, ROS test material we recommend two by car this is what we did I don't remember yes is that right this one ROH test yeah. material okay okay yeah in the BOM actually we enter that another material also for example yeah I know the test yeah 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 uh, in the BOM you can see yeah oh there is you two we enter two materials and one text also yeah yeah a160 two, two. okay so that is okay, the okay. reason it is showing that okay yeah 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 the test okay very great, great okay, okay, okay. No it is just from your bym only okay yeah 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 got it thank you okay. yeah okay so now i am going back to main screen now you saw the components now you want to see what are the steps you need to follow steps means assembling steps which are you meant in the routing you want to see what are the steps so here you can click on operations button here one more button operations you have you can click on this operations button you can see it will show you all operations first you need to do engine fixing second tires fixing third electronic device fixing and finally painting this is a routing coming from the routing yeah. correct exactly yeah. it is coming from routing and you, here you can see can you go back again please Now, which transaction code is here? Production order C O zero one, I think, right? That is one is for creation. We are in already created order, so this is C O zero two. C O zero two, yeah. Okay. And okay, now go back. Go to uh, operations. Uh, okay. 
okay so you can see all these operations and everything for example you want to change something you can do changes also here okay you can do changes and you can save it example like you want to add one more component or change the quantity in the components go to the components and this material example 200 is the required but you need some more 250 you can change quantity and you can save it okay yes so it changed it change here it changed only here but it will not touch the routing it will, uh, will not update the routing is that right correct only it won't update yeah yeah great this change is only for this order yes it's related to this order yes correct yes correct it won't change your master data okay, okay. perfect and you can click on save button it will get saved okay i am opening once again after changing and now in the components you can find that change 250 is there okay jamal is it clear yes sir okay now here you can you have other tabs here assignments goods receipt control all these things okay so these are some kind of information about this production order okay what is that information for example assignment if you open click this so here you can see mrp controller which is came from your material master and here you can see planned order so this production order is created from this planned order okay this production order is created from this planned order you can see that reference here and which production version you are used you can see here yeah but we never did the reservation i see a reservation 413 yeah i'm copying that okay. okay when you create a production order automatically this reservation number will come okay okay what is this reservation number is this reservation number is nothing but yeah the components which are required you will find those details in this reservation number so that means you can share this reservation number to your mm team using this reservation number they will issue the material to my production order they will do the goods issue what are the materials i need to manufacture car i need tire okay that details you can see in this reservation number okay oh great that but it will be created automatic automatically will yeah. be created. Yes? it will get yeah. created automatically we don't require oh. it. So okay great you i think mb23 is a transaction code yeah yeah you can see display reservation okay you can directly mm -hmm. enter that reservation number 413 and you can see what are the components you need to issue tire and this another material how much you wow. need to issue 500 and 250 wow great this is GA per order okay when you are issuing the material either you can use this reservation number or you can use the production order also what is the, the t code for reservation yeah, to see the reservation MB23 is the transaction code. MB23? Yeah. MB23. Okay. 
so now i am going back to our production order so this is just an information purpose all these fields we won't do any changes here okay. now next is goods receipt so after goods receipt this stock will go to a quality stock or unrestricted okay you can see that details here in which case we send it to block at stock yeah generally we won't use it here blocked stock yeah okay we will use this maybe after quality check quality check quality check. Okay. okay got it that means after quality check quality people will move that into block if the if it is having any defect if any defect okay. something wrong with the product they will block it correct and here after goods receipt it will get stored into this storage location Okay, after manufacturing, it will go into this storage location. That information you can see here. So when you uh, do this, and uh, but it's still good receipt is not uh, uh, processed, but it's showing yeah, the good receipt is uh, checked mark here. No, this order you will do the goods receipt. That is a tick mark. Hmm. This tick mark. Is not for already done. Mm -hmm. This tick mark is relevant for your goods receipt. Mm -hmm. That is the meaning. Okay. okay, we are not done. Just automatically system will generate this tick mark. Okay, so this now you order it. Now yeah. you want to send this uh, order to quality check, right? Quality check is we are not activated. So this goods receipt related information you can see in this button goods receipt. Mm -hmm. okay. Now next the control. The details in this control is purely related to your costing. Example like what is a costing sheet. This everything will come from the configuration. Okay, configuration between costing people and PP. So whatever they did configuration, it will appear here. Okay, what is the co uh, costing sheet? Costing sheet means uh, the costing people, they will do all the cost related. It is nothing but like your balance sheet. So all your credits, debits, everything will get saved into that one. So the cost related to this production order will get saved into that cost sheet. Okay. Okay. So the details which are there in control are from the costing people. We won't change or we won't do anything here. Okay. So the next tab is dates and quantities. So again, in this tab, you will get dates, same dates, which are there in the starting tab. In the starting tab, you see the dates. So same dates, it will appear here, quantity and dates. And here, if you completed production, completed production means you done the goods receipt. So how much you done the goods receipt? You can see the details here. Delivered. Okay, that means here it will get updated if you did the goods receipt. This is only a display. One o one. Cannot change one one. Correct. Moment moment type is one o one. Okay, got it. So the next tab is master data. 
here you can see which production version is it is selected means this order is belongs to this production version master yeah. data and what is the routing, routing. number it has used is yeah used yeah. you can see the details and what is a mm. bom counter okay and in the bottom you can see the bom this is a bom number and uses okay i think if you double click on this bom number it will display your bom this is a bom okay go back so if you double click on this number it will take you to your bom okay so which master data it is used you can see the details in master data So the next tab is long text. Okay. Here you want to put some special instruction to shop floor. You can enter here. Special instructions example. Use tire from continental. That means tires from continental brand only you need to use. You are giving this information to shop floor. That means who is assembling the part. Okay. And you can use or you can tell use paint of red color. So like this, you can enter your any text here and you can save it. So the text information you will get. It will get saved. Okay. And in administration tab, next tab you can see who created who changed this order and when it is created when is changed date time you can see the responsible person correct it is nothing but who created this production order who last changed this order okay so this is the main information you can get from this production order okay in this there is another information actually material okay this i will cover later if i cover this now you will get confused so i will cover this material and capacity these two are there like a, just a small topics i will cover later okay so this is about your production order. <laughs> Correct. Conversion and what are the details we have in production order we discuss. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank is you. it clear? Okay. So I will uh, stop the class now. Okay. Yes. Can we continue class tomorrow also? Any problem? Um, yes, if you like, we can continue. We can do class too. I don't know if Jamal is available. Myself, I am available. No issue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We will. Yes. Okay. So we will continue the class tomorrow, same time. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.